Hi everyone, welcome to the Lori Whitlock YouTube channel today. I am so excited to show you this adorable flower pot bouquet that I have designed. It's in the Silhouette Design Store and in my shop at shop.loriwhitlock.com. I've got two different variations of the pot um, with different flowers. Uh, they would make fantastic Mother's Day gifts, spring gifts, thinking of you gifts get well, somebody's not having a good day, this is the kind of flower pot that's gonna last for a long time. So I hope you have fun making these. Uh, they're quite simple to put together and a lot of fun to make. As you can see, they can turn out very different uh, just depending on the flower colors you choose and the pot color you choose. Um, this one looks so springy and feminine and this one looks a little more patriotic um, so you could change out the colors of any of these flowers and make a stunning, unique flower pot gift to give to somebody. So let's get started putting this together. I think you're going to have a lot of fun making this project. It's quite simple and it turns out so beautiful. Just note, it does not fold flat. You won't be mailing this. This is going to be something that you're going to hand to give or you'll need to put in a box to mail. Um, the intent is not to fold flat. This is definitely a 3D project. So they'd make fantastic centerpieces for a party as well. So just think about that in the middle of a table with some cute little, you know, flower petals or candies or things like that. It'd be really cute. So let's get busy making this. And I hope you guys enjoy this project a lot. Let me know in the comments if you have uh, more ideas, if you'd like to see more variations. I've thought about doing this um, with different, more different types of flowers or different themes, different vase shapes, things like that. If you love it, please let me know and I will work on more of these. Have fun making it. Let's get started putting together our project. I have all the pieces here cut out in front of me. Uh, we have our flower pot base. We have a rolled flower that I've cut out of blue, a rolled flower that I've cut out of red, and this cute little daisy yellow flower. And then we have all of our uh, flower uh, bracket pieces and then we have a bunch of grass pieces some that go on the edge of the pot and some that are going to go across like our flower pieces so let's start folding our base I'm going to set all the flowers to the side for just a minute and we'll work on those in just a few minutes um, some of the tools you're going to need include maybe some sort of a tweezer might be helpful for doing those rolled flowers if not you can just use your hands um, some liquid glue, a tape runner, maybe some scissors, I don't know. And I'm going to use a uh, ball stylus and a foam mat on, that I'm using here on this flower. Um, it helps build some dimension and you'll probably want a bone folder as well. So I'm just going to scoot this flower off to the side and we're going to start with our four green grass pieces. I've already kind of, you can see, rolled or folded the grass forward on that, those three and on this one I haven't yet, but you can use your bone folder to kind of build some dimension, kind of get that grass flowing in one direction. There's also a score line there. You can kind of fold on that score line if you want, just depending on how much dimension you want to build. That's the fun thing with this project is you get to be the creator. You get to decide how much fluff you add to the grass and the flowers and um, how much dimension you want to create. Um, we, Like I said, we used a little bit of ink to add a little dimension to those and also these two insert layers. We've got these layers are all numbered. Um, those haven't been uh, pulled out very well, but this is layer four, layer two, layer one, three, and five. So it's there's no question on how those go into the box once we have Put it together so let's go ahead and put these green grass pieces on and you're just going to want to line up that scored line with the edge of the pot and just glue that inside on each side panel so um just flip that over and you can use some tape runner or liquid glue whatever you'd like and just go ahead and put that onto each side panel and you want to hide that score line just a little bit so it doesn't show and just center it there on that side and like i said this is where you get to be creative and create as much 
fluff on that grass as you'd like. Let's go ahead and do our second side. And we'll repeat that process for the last two sides. Okay, once you have all those four sides installed, let's go ahead and fold towards the inside on all those score lines. This is gonna start forming our pot. This one looks kind of like a terracotta pot cut out of orange. And you get to be creative on the color combinations that you make with this project. I'd love to see what you create if you feel so inclined to share those with me through email, info at lauriewhitlock.com. Or if you have suggestions for more flower pot types. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two sides up and those two sides up. So we're just gonna put adhesive on these adhesive tore my paper. That's okay, because none of that's gonna show. Does not wanna take adhesive right there. time I touch that adhesive it wants to tear the paper. Okay, moving along. I'll just put some and here we go again. Sorry about that guys. This orange paper does not really want to take adhesive very well but we're going to work around it. In fact I could grab some liquid glue if I wanted but I think I can probably get enough on there to make it stick. So we'll just pull up those sides and like you can see here you won't see that those panels at all. They're just hidden. Okay, now we have our basic pot built. Now at this point, you can see, you can use the table to get a good press on those sides. Um, this side is overlapping just a little bit, so I'm gonna loosen it up because I don't want it to be too tight for my side panels to go in or my cross panels to go in. Just loosen that up just a little bit there because these cross panels are gonna go in there and we don't want it to get too tight. So I suggest that you run them this way from green to green because this way has more layers of cardstock and it might make it a little too short. So we're gonna take our panels now and you can um, just pay attention to those numbers. This is number one. So it's gonna go one and then two. And then three. and then four, and then five. So you can see it's gonna go flower, grass, flower, grass, flower. So just kind of get those lined up and you can see that there's actually grass on the edge so that makes the first layer. And now you can kind of play with this and see if you wanna go this way or this way depending on what fits best for, for you. It doesn't really matter. Um, just depending on how thick your cardstock is and how thick your side layers are, um, that could make just a little bit of difference for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna put about almost a half an inch, but not quite of space there, and go ahead and put that first flower layer in, so it shall look like that. And then we're gonna put our grass layer in, and you'll just want to, I just know that this one's the middle one, so it'll be about right in the middle. And you'll be looking at the line, not the glue tabs for the middle. And you just want to kind of space everything evenly. But it doesn't have to be perfect either, because when you're done, you can see that those flowers fill in all the gaps and all the spaces. So it's very, very forgiving. So your placement does not have to be 100% perfect by any means. Okay. 
And so at this point, these little glue tabs are kind of spacing things for us. We can kind of just place this layer pretty close to that last set of glue tabs. Okay, and then the next flower layer, number three. And you can see you've got this nice round space here to glue your flowers on. And again, this needs to be about in the center. So just kind of eyeball that into the middle using that spacing from that previous layer. And then we're gonna do another grass layer. And then another flower layer. Okay, now you can see at this point, you can just kind of tilt those flower dots down. You can push that grass in either direction. It's kind of just going to help us put our hold our flowers up a little bit once we get our flowers in there. You can play around with which direction you want those to all go. Like I said, it doesn't really matter too much though because at the end it's just going to fill in really nicely. Okay, so now at this point we're ready for some flowers to put in our flower basket. So let's start with our blue rolled flower. We have to do three of each of the flowers. So once I demonstrate one, um, you'll know how to do all three of them. So just continue the process to get them all done. Um, cleaning off my fingers just a little bit. Okay. So this one I've already kind of rolled already and I'm going to use a hot glue gun. I forgot to mention that at the beginning of the video. You'll probably want a hot glue gun. You don't have to have a hot glue gun. You can use adhesive, liquid adhesive. It might take longer to get it to dry. And let me show you how I got it to this point though. So it's kind of kind of bouncy and springy. And um, what I did is I took my bone folder and I just kind of curled and trained my paper to curl. And just kind of went all the way around and you can see how that's trying to curl now. As you do this, it just helps that flower form into a nice curved spring. You could use the edge of the table maybe, just don't want to rip it, that's the main thing. You can get going in one direction, you can kind of get in a groove. Okay, that's probably good enough. We're gonna start with this outer edge and we're gonna work to the middle, okay? So I'm gonna take my little tweezers that I have and just pinch that middle, hold it tightly and just start turning. And this is the center of our flower. So we'll just keep rolling that until we get to the flat circle where we can glue everything down. Try and kind of keep everything stacked on top of each other for the best to result, because that's what you're going to need to do is stack everything on top of that glue dot at the end. Okay, it gets a little more difficult to keep everything together towards the end here. And I'm rolling it tighter than it needs to be, so we're actually going to release it here in a second and let it go a little bit. I'm going to unclip my clip in the middle and you can see we've got the basic formation of our rolled flower. So you can kind of, um, you know, just let that release as much or as little as you want to get the flower that you want. Sometimes I kind of grab it from the middle and turn it backwards a little bit to help me help it release a little bit. So that's kind of basically how our flower is formed. If you want it bigger, then just keep unrolling it a little bit until you get it a little bit bigger. So I kind of like that shape right there. So I'm going to kind of open that up, 
put some glue right here in the middle of our flower base. If I can get my glue gun to work. Get a nice glob of glue there. And then I'm just gonna have to hold this flower in place until it sets. I don't wanna glue it to my table, so I'm gonna check that. That's looking really, really good. In fact, I think I can set that off to the side and put my tape runner on top of it to let it dry. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue this one. And after it's glued, you can put the leaves on. Come on, glue gun. Give me a little glue, there we go. Get some glue and then just kind of get the shape and size that you want. Okay, I'll set that one to the side. And we'll work on our last one. So if you need another tutorial, um, this time I'm gonna try it without curving with my like training it too much with my bone folder. I'm just gonna start turning it and see how that works. You'll just have to, yeah, that's gonna be okay too. You're kind of training it as you go. If you're ever having any trouble though, especially with wider or thicker flowers, kind of training it so it doesn't bend, bend, bend all the way around helps, especially with ones with like deep cut leaves and things. You don't want those to bend at each petal. This one's kind of a consistent um, fluted rough edge, so it looks, looks fine. It's not tending to bend in any one particular spot, so that's good. Okay, and now I'm just gonna kind of let that go a little bit and take my tweezers out push everything down nice and flat. And we're gonna get some hot glue. And I'm gonna let that flower loosen up just a little bit. And try not to get burnt all at one time. Okay. So now we have our three blue flowers and they're flowers. They don't have to be perfectly the same size or look exactly the same. They're all very, very cute. If you feel like you need more glue somewhere, you can certainly add that in. Um, you can play with these leaves just a little bit. You can form them with the stylus a little bit if you'd like. I've got my little foam pad covered in items, but um, you can just kind of you can kind of run your stylus down through the middle like a stem. You can get these to curl up around the edges just by playing with that stylus. It helps to kind of curl those petals, um, leaves, I guess I should say a little bit. If you want to add a little dimension there, you certainly can. If you don't have a stylus, um, just look for something, maybe a spoon or something that you could use to get a little um, dimension built into your petals if you want. I'm going to use it really quite a bit on the middles of these white middles here, the yellow flower middle. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to take my glue gun again and put a little glue in the middle of each of those leaf um, circles there. And I'm going to glue down my flowers. Okay, so we have three darling blue flowers ready to go. I'm gonna set those off to the side and we'll work on our yellow flowers. So the yellow flowers, we've added a little bit of inking to the edges just to add a little dimension. There are two layers of yellow for each flower. So again, you can build some dimension into these with a stylus. Um, just however you want your flowers to look. You can really get creative and you can actually change the look of these quite a bit by changing the way you use the stylus with them. In fact, if I push just a little more here in the middle, it's gonna make those petals pop up a little bit. 
and makes it nest really nicely on top of that first layer. So we'll just kind of get our flowers puffing up just a little bit. I'm gonna use a little uh, hot glue. I feel like these stick together with hot glue a little bit better. If I can get my glue gun to work. Let's see, something's stuck in here. Oh, there we go. A gob of hot glue, of course. There we go. Oh, that was a little too much glue. <clears throat> I'm gonna use my gob of, oh no, I'm not. We're just gonna let it be in there. We're not gonna push so tight that it shows. So there, we'll just let that set dry and we'll move on to the next set. I really love the flowers when they have a little extra dimension to them, especially on this project. There's no need for them to be flat. You're not planning to mail this in an envelope or anything. It does not fold flat. This is a three-dimensional project. You will need to hand deliver or mail very carefully. Okay, a little glue. Don't overdo it like I did the first time. I think I want this to be a little bit tighter before I put it in there. Okay, and I'm, I'm trying to kind of offset those petals where they fill in the gaps from the previous layer. Don't want that hot glue to dry, so got to move kind of quickly here. Okay, and there we have our bases of our three flowers, and we've got some little hot glue spider webs running everywhere, of course. Okay, now in the middles, each of those middles, you can get creative here. I've given you four middle pieces for each one, um, too large, too small. And I really like it when you get those um, middles made three-dimensionally. They look so, so cute. Again, you can, I'm gonna scoot over here just a little bit. Again, you can work on that middle till it pops up and then kind of offset that a little bit and then do the same thing with the inner layer. You can even use the smaller ball to get a little tighter curvature in there. You can use two layers, you can use four layers, whatever you want to do, one layer, whatever looks best to you. But I kind of wanted those middles to be nice and full. So now I'm going to glue those in. And for these, I'm just going to use a little glue pen, I think, instead of the hot glue. And I'll just layer those one at a time. In fact, I think I'll use my tweezers to set those in right where I want them. Again, these are flowers. They do not have to be 100% perfect. These are going to take just a minute to dry. I'm going to put these two little ones together and then I'll take it all and put it in there. And you can even take your little ball, just stick that in there and get it to be nice and set in there. We'll let that dry. Okay, now we'll do the same thing for the other two. So if you got that, you can just enjoy watching these last two. You probably already know how to do it though. These actually go pretty quickly. As you can kind of just prepare all of them at one time.
Okay, now we're just gonna start layering them up here. Make sure you get those offset just right. And then the middle ones, put a little glue on each of those, on the middle of each of these. And then we'll grab those and put them in. And we'll give those a great good press here. So cute. We're going to set those aside. Oh, let's go ahead and add our, forgot about our greenery. Um, you can, again, add a little dimension to those. Get them curling a little bit. Little inking looks great on them as well. If you push down in the middle, it really pulls those leaves up a little bit too, which is nice. Okay, I'll go ahead and a little glue and add our flower. And we're gonna set these aside so they can dry really well. Look how cute that is. And two more. Doesn't matter which way those leaves are going. Um, it all works out in the end, so don't worry. Just get your flowers to this point and we'll be ready to put them on our bouquet here in a little bit. So this is what our red flower is gonna look like. So I put this one together. We're gonna go ahead and put together another one. I'll show you how I did this. I kind of wanted those petals to lay outward. So I'm gonna train that from the back side of the flower with my stylus. I, I uh, wanna make sure I'm working on the back side. So if you've done any inking or anything, make sure you go to the back and not the front. But I'm just gonna go around the edges of this and kind of train those leaves to kind of train backwards. So I want them to lay out instead of towards the middle of the project, if that makes sense. Okay, so now I'm going to start with the outer edge of this and I'm going to make sure I turn the correct way. Okay, see how those um, petals are kind of folding outward? That's exactly what I want. Before I get too far, I'm going to remove some of these little hot glue gun strings. And this flower I'm going to roll just a little looser. I don't want it to be super tight. I want it to be a little bigger. If you don't have anything to roll on, you can just use your fingers. Sometimes that's easier. So this is kind of the way this flower is shaping up. If you want the center to be tighter, you can always grab that with the tweezers and twist a little more in there. I'm gonna kind of let it go a little bit. Just maybe not quite that much, but I'm gonna put some hot glue in there and then I'll 
bring it to the size and shape I want. Something like that. I don't really want to get hot glue on that. Something about like that. And then we're gonna put our green leaf on there and then let it dry. Okay, so there's our two of our red flowers. And I'm gonna take a minute and make this last one and then we'll get our flowers all together and put them onto our pot. Okay, at this point, you should have nine flowers created, three blue, three yellow, three red, or whatever color you decided to make your flowers. And you should have a base um, that holds your flowers and your grass. And um, we're gonna put all of our flowers on these little tabs here. And you can bend them in different directions. You can make them shorter by bending them down and making them, you know, you can do whatever you need to make these Fit where they need to go and they just will look so cute when you're all done so don't stress but I kind of kind of did a little pattern on this one I don't know if you like it or not but I did purple white pink and then I did purple on this end white pink and then purple white pink so it, it's kind of the same order which made a line with the three pink ones which I think turned out cute um, maybe we'll do the yellow through them I don't know I'm just trying to think how this is gonna look do we want it to we can kind of line them up here, I guess. Um, those would end up kind of going, let's see. If we did red, yellow, blue, then we would do blue in the middle and red on this end. Yellow, red, yellow, blue, red. And then we would be doing blue on this end, red and yellow like that. That kind of puts the blue ones on an angle. Or if we want to do, yeah, I think that's going to look good. What do you think? Let's just try it and see how it turns out. So let's take our little pattern and set it off to the side here and put our box here. And I'm going to put some, oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. I'm going to put some hot glue on these tabs and put our flowers on. So let's put our red one on there. Oh, and you can kind of position the greenery the way you want. I'm gonna position this kind of outward because I don't want it bumping into all my flowers as much. I want it to kind of show on the outside more. Um, oh my goodness, these little hot glue strings really get in the way sometimes. There's a yellow one. We'll put it right here and get our greenery poking out and in kind of like that and then our blue one and our hot glue strings and put that one here cute cute okay and we'll just go move on to the next row burn yourself. I'm going to put this blue one in place here so I can hold that one where I want it. You can kind of see how they kind of hold each other where, where you want them in place. So make sure you push everything out to the edges the way you want them so it looks nice and full. one's going to go in here. And we'll have a red one over here. And we'll have a red one here. 
and the yellow one here. And kind of position all those petals where they kind of hide the holes. And if you wanted to fill in more with other greenery or other flowers or little stems or something, you could certainly do that. But this is kind of how our yellow, red, and blue one turned out. And this is how our purple, white, and pink one turned out. Look how fun they are. You could do a variety of flowers, make them look um, different and unique in a lot of different ways. Um, like I said, you could add more vines coming out if you wanted to or little baby's breath or different flower cuts that you might have. You could try lots of different rolled flowers on them. This looks like roses and daisies and maybe petunias and this looks more like mums and some little dahlias or something and some really cool blue flowers that I've never seen in real life. So I hope you have fun making these you guys. I hope you love it. Be a perfect Mother's Day gift or spring gift or okay for a friend uh, that's sick somebody you're just thinking of and want to make something special for. Hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you enjoy this project and I will see y'all in another video. Bye-bye.